You wanna see who I'm fucking on so bad. You know she fine. You know she chocolate. Do you think you could collab with? No. We not cool. Not even a little bit. You know vibes. Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. You know the vibes. It's J. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing an updated Q&A. Also, this is gonna be a mukbang. And I'm feeling like I am Zoe, goddamn Zoe. You know how he had an ottoman, he had a fool, and then he had you. Yeah, he inspired this whole setting right here, okay? So, I went to this new spot. New spot got me these good old looking honey mustard chicken wings. I'm a little upset though, because I forgot to tell her all flats. I forgot to tell her crispy and wet. But it's okay. I, I feel like in my soul, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> so these are some honey mustard wings, and hopefully my fries still hot. I mean, they gave you a whole bag of fries. Who need all them damn fries? Me. Let me say my grace. Can't forget about my Pepsi. Mm. Amen. So, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you are subscribed. That means you're making sure that you subscribe to your girl. Click the links in my description, you guys. Join the J Squad, Pump Squad. Follow my second YouTube channel, J Fitness Vibes, where I get my games on because the workout is real, the games is real, all work, no play. Let's get into this food. Gotta have me some ranch. Why is there a ticket in my food? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't need no ticket in my food. What's going on, baby? What's going on? See, people get hacked left and right. Stop it! They need a lot of fries. And they're not really fresh. Mm-mm. They're like steak and shake fries. You gotta have steak and shake fries? Okay, I ain't here for the fries. I'm here for the food. I'm here for these questions. And I'm here for the chicken. I might gotta get me some more ranch from downstairs. Mm. That's a homemade ranch, though. It ain't gonna be the same. Who are my seller? You can have it, sis. First question, where am I from? So, I really don't like this question because it's so hard for me to answer. It's not really hard. It's just a long answer. Like, some people be like, yeah, I'm from up north. Yeah, I'm from the west coast, Cali. Yeah, I'm from the east, North Carolina. No, not me, not me. See, I was born in Atlanta. I left when I was like three or four years old. Moved to South Carolina. Mm. Mm. Bust. Moved to South Carolina. Where at in South Carolina? Uh, I was living in Florence. My grandma lived in Darlington, so I was raised in Florence and Darlington. Then I moved to North Carolina when I got like in the sixth grade. I've been in North Carolina since I was in the sixth grade. Where you graduate high school from? I graduated high school in Ashburn, Gastonia. Oh, you you from the gas house. No, I'm not. No, I'm not from that small. It ain't nothing wrong with that place for the people that's there. I mean, from there. But I'm not from there. I'm not. I lived there for a while, but I'm not from there. Stop your shit. Cut your shit. So, where you from? I'm from the south. Did I just drool on myself? I probably did, because these wings busted. Is that lint? Okay, if I eat the damn lint, I just eat the lint. Can I take you on a date? See, once upon a time, I didn't even know what a date was, because a bitch just wasn't really going on no dates. The shit that I was doing wasn't called no date. It was just like, yeah, we going this place because we hungry, or so-and-so invited us here. We meeting whoever here. It wasn't really no date. So once upon a time, I didn't know what a date was until I went on a date. So can you take me on a date? You got to ask my boo drop. Went from chocolate drop to my boo drop. And I don't think she gonna drop that yes on you, so. I don't know, plus I think you was a man. I think you was a man. I'm definitely not going on no date with no man. Second of all, this the same person that asked me, you know what, I ain't gonna put you out like that. Next question. Hmm. Fuck the ranch. 
I'm feeling on this one chick with What is the silliest thing you have heard people say about you? Oh, I heard so much. But the silliest one, I look like a teenage boy. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember all them comments? I even seen a comment that was like, when you was with her, did you feel like you was dating a teenage boy? Y'all lame as fuck, number one. Number, not y'all, but them, the haters. Number two, what's manly about me, sis? I wait, I got titties, I got an ass, I can twerk. I got a female private part. Ain't nothing manly about my voice. I may not always dress feminine, but I'm a feminine woman. So that, that gotta be the most silliest thing I've ever heard about me, is that I, look like a teenage boy. It's ridiculous. Next. My fave song slash artist. Whew. My fave artist, my favorite artist have to be J. Bob's. My favorite song have to be Who Am I? Yo, Who Am I? Go out, J. I ain't know no savage. Hey, free that T I'm in that A, but I am not. Nah, but like, seriously. Now, who comes second to me? It's so many. <clears throat> I can't even like, uh uh, I cannot waste no wrench. I can't even like really number them, like two, three, four, five, six. I can't even number them because I got over 2,000, probably three, maybe five songs in my Apple Music. I can barely get to 100 because some songs just stay on repeat. But I definitely listen to Asian Doll, Lil Dirt, Cody Shane. Uh, I still bum Future. You know, the Migos got a new song out now. Still bum Nicki Minaj. Sometimes I go to my Pandora and I let that R&B flow. Not to say I don't have any R&B on my Apple Music, but Pandora be hitting. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be having a little gospel come up on my Apple Music. And I be like, look, you played for a reason and this is the season. So I let that gospel play. When you gonna pop out with a girlfriend? I'm so damn weak, y'all. Why? Why do you want me in a relationship? You wanna see who I'm fucking on so bad. You know she fine. You know she chocolate. Hopefully soon, but you know what? I ain't putting no pressure on it because the quality time that me and her spend together, it ain't worth risking or losing or rushing for nobody. So I don't care who want her on this channel so badly. She ain't coming on this channel. Uh, she ain't coming on till she want to. I ain't pressuring her at all. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> I had about 50, 11, 13, maybe 15. It ain't that many. About five to seven people tell me to go follow official DQJ. You got some loyal ass supporters. They blew my shit up. And I don't know if these some spam accounts. I don't know what it is. But they want me to check you out. You an artist from Atlanta. You dope as fuck. I ain't get to do it yet. But I wanna let you know, if you watching this, you got some dope ass supporters, you know what I'm saying? For real. And J Squad and Plum Squad should be just as dope as you. Well, as dope as your supporters. You know what I'm saying? And don't do it because I'm telling you to do it. Do it because you wanna do it. At the kindness, don't look at my damn nails. Even though we already got started, whatever comment you made about my nails, erase it. Don't worry about it. They naturally going through they, they thing. No question, but I always do what's best for you. Can't no head to tell you nothing. Okay! Can't a head or a pig tell me shit. And that's just that on that, big period. When you come to Colorado, I really want to meet you, love you. Mm-hmm, I'm coming. I'm coming everywhere. And I ain't coming on nobody's time but my time. All the places that people been wanting me to pull up to, like Atlanta, and Washington, Maryland, I done came. Where was you at, sis? I was at work. You don't work all damn day. You don't work all day. It's okay, though. Because I'm going to start doing some evening, <clears throat> some evening slash nighttime meet, meet and greets, which ain't really safe. We got to figure this out. We got to really compromise with each other and figure this out. I don't want to do nothing too early. I can't. And I don't want to do it too late, so. It's like that Pepsi is a cherry on top. I'm not sure if you, if y'all cool. Do you think you could collab with? No, we not cool. We not cool at all, baby. Not even a little bit. I'm not sure if you, if y'all cool. 
Do you think you could collab with? No, we not cool. We not cool at all, baby. Not even a little bit. Do I have a grudge? No, but guess what? I'll never forget. Did I forgive? I forgave within the Lord because that apology was some bullshit. I don't give a fuck. It's not an apology in this damn world. All that, and y'all, stop bringing that damn girl up. Stop. It, that shit is dead. Are you in a relationship or are you single, single? <laughs> I'm single, but I'm not singly mingling looking for anything because I'm good where I'm at. What's meant to be is gonna be. Y'all want me in a relationship so bad. So bad! <laughs> Q&A. When you getting more tattoos because you love my tattoos, I need more tattoos. Y'all, I got this cover up I gotta do of my XX name. Jesus, I need that covered up immediately. Not that it holds any weight with me. It doesn't mean anything to me at all. I just don't want it there. I do not want it there anymore. I need to get stuff filled in with color. I gotta find me a tat man though because I can't find my, my good old cheek tat man in the house tat man. I can't find him. What's the most spontaneous thing I've ever did. Okay. The most spontaneous thing that I ever did and enjoyed was having one night stand with a female. Because the, the kind of one night stand that I tried to have with this man when I was trying to figure out if I'm really gay or if I'm, what am I doing? I hated it. But the one night stand I had with this woman, it's like God threw me a whole new book of life. He was like, listen here. Start at chapter one, cause chapter one is the one night stand. And then you'll go to chapter two, three, four. I think I'm on chapter three right now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I have to say that. <laughs> Next question. Y'all are so nosy. Are you and Chocolate Drop still going strong? Yeah. That's baby. That's boo. That's my friend. Like, she's so cool. Like, she don't she don't stress me out. She don't judge me. And she's just such an awesome person. Like, she's a phenomenal woman. Big period. Things that I'm saying she already knows. I already tell her this stuff. We good. And if nothing ever sparks from what we got going on. It's okay. As long as she's not on the internet calling me bitches and all this other shit, which she'll never do that because that's not even her, in her character. I'll forever and always be her friend. Big period, okay? That's just that on that, so. We good. I'm talking about stronger than this damn arm of mine. Stronger than her arm because she's strong. Am I getting full? That ain't one of the questions but yeah. But we almost done with these questions so I'm a I ain't got no more ranch. I ain't going downstairs to get none either. These wings so good. I don't even need a damn ranch. Oh um, we almost done. Almost done. Oh uh, when are you gonna come to Rock Hill, South Carolina. I wanna meet you in person, you always brighten my day. You know, Rock Hill is right there. It ain't right there from where I'm at. It's like across there and then right there. But, we right here, sis. Now, what are we gonna do in Rock Hill? Matter of fact, I got this nice little country spot. We can pull up to have a few drinks. We, we can set something up, sis. We can set something up. You can either come to the city or I can meet you at the borderline. Wait, you said Columbia? Or you said Rock Hill? Now, Rock Hill right there, baby. We can set something up. Hit me up. Okay, next question. So you see what I'm talking about? One, two, three, four, five. That was six. Have you heard of official DQJ? Follow official DQJ and show them some love. You know what I'm saying? Official DQJ, the best rapper out in Atlanta right now, bruh. So hard. Will you please follow official DQJ and tell him I'm promoting him? Please follow my rapper buddy. You got some loyal ass supporters, bruh. I'ma I'm fuck with him. 
Just because of y'all. Ain't nobody else out here gonna do that. But you know, Jay got your back. Just tell him to follow me back. Alright? Tell him to follow me back. Let's do a feature or something. You know what I'm saying? A feature with a music video. And yeah, we litty. Alright, let me see. Is there any questions for me? My page is lit. Thank you! <laughs> That's it, y'all. That is it. That is the QA. In this mud bay because. Whew, I was full, master. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, share it, comment. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. I love you guys. Click the link in my description. Make sure you give you some J Boss merch. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to my fitness channel, J Fitness Vibes. I love you guys so freaking much. If ain't nobody tell you, they love you. Let me tell you first. Because I do. I really appreciate you. Ooh. If ain't nobody tell you, they love you. Let me tell you first. Because I really do. Ooh, I appreciate you. I really do have a great freaking day, you guys. Be blessed. Be safe. And I'm signing on to the next video. Peace. Stop looking at my damn ass. Peace. Stop judging me. Ain't nobody tell you to judge me. Oh, shit. Mm. 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 Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch You know the vibes It's J